Hello everyone and welcome back to another Corepunk video. Today we're going to talk about a new post that Eugene Kiver, which is the producer of Corepunk, has released on the Reddit called MMORPG. It's probably the biggest uh, like Reddit subreddit for MMO games and it's it's a great opportunity for new MMOs to have like a spotlight on on this, you can say, Reddit. A lot of MMOs, they get these developer spotlights in development to like showcase their game for new players. And what we have to keep in mind with this showcase is that it is tailored together for new players. It's not something that is made for veterans, because if it was for, you can say, OGs like me who's been there for like day one, then they would have posted it on the official Discord. But they didn't, because this is more for like marketing, for showing people on this Reddit, hey, we have MMO, it's coming soon, stuff like that. And so we just have to keep that in mind when reading this, so it's not like, um, insane mind-blowing new stuff it's more like nice to know stuff like a good refresher and also some new clips just saying but i think we should go directly to it and let's read through it so core punk mmorpg with fog of war and in a seamless open world cool and the core polo hello subreddit mmorpg today we're excited to share with you our progress on core punk some of you may remember us from our first gameplay video and last year's AMA. We are continuing to improve graphics, sophisticating the combat system and expanding the world. That's why we decided to postpone the closed beta release to December 2021. What is Corpunk? Corpunk is an MMORPG with Fog of War in a seamless open world. Thanks to the top-down camera perspective and Fog of War, you will want to discover area nook and Kirikrani. Corpunk offers a variety of professions, backgrounds, challenging monsters in the unique camps, guilds, farms, quests, and profound lore. The world of Corpunk is huge, mesmerizing. It is inhabited by various factions, guilds, and secret organizations, each having their own unique towns, cities, and villages, and each with its own story and theme. We want to allow the players to explore all the episodes of these captivating and unique stories in every settlement. Explore the world, trade, farm camps, powerful dungeons, or match your skills with other players in PvP. All aspects of the game will be, will be rewarded. There's going to be a rating system for every kind of activity. We have been working on Corpunk for quite some time. Now, in 2009 we released an announcement game, game, gameplay trailer you can check it out here yeah, okay we, we have we have seen that uh, like plenty of times <laughs> like plenty of times since then we have released only a few gameplay videos because we're putting all our efforts in the quality of core punk and creating media content kind of takes our focus away from the game itself watch the full video see what he says basically what, what he says behind the scenes like between the lines here is basically we want to make more videos about the game like we really want to show you more but we we rather want to like focus on the game like we, they really want to focus on the game making the best and release it for us so they don't want to like waste time on creating videos and live streams and just like stuff like that you know what i mean and and that's how they look at it um Fal recently came out, out our latest update in which we showed a hero customization process. That's true. They showed out a video on how the character creation is, and it's it's pretty cool. I like it. A bit about what we're doing now. We're going to share a video on our current combat systems and how monsters and games react and adjust to various combat situations. So, like we, we have received this um little little clip here, and I, I think it's like it's it's worth downloading um but we have received this little well receive receive we we have seen this little clip here they are showing where basically they like attack this game where the three four players attacking a game we have the warrior or the uh, the blaster the legionario and yeah two warriors the blaster and one legionario so we have like different classes attacking and I think, yeah, the, this, the group size in this game was four, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me just like try and get something up for you because if we like loop close while and exit, like you can see here, when downloading, we can get it up in like a bigger format so you can like, 
see the see the format here. Um, but it definitely looks cool. I mean, it it reminds me of the cams in League of Legends and Dota. Are like the the mobs are very centralized, like standing, waiting for you really to attack. But I like the one with the defender, like the tank mob they have. It's like charging through them every one. So I think it, this looks great. This looks pretty cool. I, I, I like it. I, I'm definitely going for the legionary. You know, the, the big orc with the, the spear and the shield. That's uh, that's definitely my gonna be my baby. It definitely is combat. We are. Uh, we are working extensively on the feelings of combat as well as on the mobs AI. Really hope that you will like the end result. I do. I think I think it looks awesome. I mean, I, it's not much we're getting just only this gift, but again, it's it's made for new players. It's not made for me who already know everything about the game, even though I kind of forget the class names in this game. But that's I mean, I guess that's OK. I forget the class names since this game is not playable, like, you know what I mean. So so when you don't play the game daily, you don't remember the class names. So, you know, just my excuse. Um, one of the really cool features which we have, which we have wanted to add for a long time, and which has rarely been done in other MMORPGs, is the looting system, in which the loot drops on the ground like in ARPGs. And, and this is pretty cool too because I, I like how you know you can see like the, the loot is like dropping on the floor and, and and he like picks it up I have to admit when he loots it and it's like jumping on him I, I don't know I'm not a fan of that uh, because in Diablo when you pick up gear on the ground it basically just gets instantly picked up with a click sound and, and and this jumping thing on you is like hmm, I don't like it. Um, I can live with it if that's the thing that's gonna be in the game when it releases, fine. But for some reason, I just feel like um, the instantly looting. Where I know it's su it's super cool they are on the ground, hundred percent. But when looting it, I'm definitely more fan of like it's supposed to like um, you know what I mean? Just like directly go into the inventory, they click. And not less, not not this jumping animation. I know I'm pretty harsh to comment on this, but that's just how I see it. But it's probably because I'm used to play a lot of Diablo, so I know when you loot gear, it just gets from the ground in your inventory. Okay, I'm I'm probably judging this wrong, but it, I can see it's also pretty cool. This like jumping to you, it's it's funny, it's different. I haven't seen it in other games doing like this. Um, but the biggest question here is like. Because we have seen a comment before from the developers saying we got group loot, master loot, free loot, you know, uh, round robin. Like we have different loot options in this game. But how does this, how does it actually affect this? Because if I have group loot and I try to loot one of the items at the ground, will it then just automatically come up with a window saying you have to roll on this gear? Or will it then drop pers personalized for each of you? Like, um, this instead of this, I mean this post didn't answer any questions it, it more like created questions like I'm, I'm super curious now how is the looting system working with this drop on the floor kind of system because I would love to be doing raids where when you kill the raid boss and open the chest then it drops out loot on the floor for each of you like because if we have to be 12 people in a raid spam clicking the loot on the ground that that wouldn't be fun that no that that nah, no it, it has to be some kind of like a either personal system where each person has their own loot on the ground or it has to be some kind of a group loot where you have to actually you cannot loot it you can click on it but then it will just kind of start like a um, a, a, a roll where you have to roll for the gear or of course you have some kind of a master looter so the the, the party leader he can loot it and then decide who gets what or, you know what i mean I just hope we have like good different party options to get loot because that would be horrible if like if we have to like someone has to loot it and then we have to like stand still and you know like talk about who gets what that, that would be like wow if we have to do that for every single dungeon but but you know let's let's wait and see what they're gonna do 
Um, the classic looting system for MMORPGs is collecting loot from chest or enemy corpses. We have always liked the ARPG looting, though it provides a more tangible feel. I agree, I agree. It's it's super cool. I, I like everything about it. Even though I commented that I don't like jumping animations, that's that's fine with me also. I mean, if that's the way we go, let's do it. Um, and I agree, it's, it feels much more cool that it just like drops on the floor. I, I hope there's like an option where you can say it always has to show name, so I can always see what what's on the ground. You will be able to see it for yourself in our new video, which will be posted on the website in the new in the new section and on our YouTube. I'm, I'm just like making sure have they have they posted it yet? Uh, no. I guess what I around I, I'm like. Does this mean we will get it like in soon, or will we have to wait month? Huh, interesting. What you will see in the game. in devs hero custom stations? Yes. PvP, PvE? Yes. Heroes with different style of gameplay? Yes. Unique quest uncovering the fascinating lore of the world? Yes. Challenging dungeons and deadly bosses, each demanding a specialized approach? Yes. Arenas and battlegrounds? Even more, yes. Five gathering professions, skinner, collector, miner, lumberjack, and herbalist. I like it, sign me up. Besides gathering, there are six professions, blacksmith, artifact smith, alchemist, mystic, fishing, and cooking. And then we have the 10 passive talent brands, from which you can choose any three, combining them in your own way. Also pretty cool. If you'd like to play Corpon, please sign up for the beta. More information, please visit our forum, Discord, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Cool. Cool. Let's see which comment down here has most like. I think it's my no no. This guy he wins. I have 12 likes. He has 19. God damn it. God damn it. But yeah, looks pretty cool. I, I, I like this. It's really shiny. I, I, I like, I need to download this. I really do. Okay, well, um, artificial core. This was a pretty good update. Um, again, I think it's a really solid update for like new people. I think if, if some people on this Reddit haven't seen this game before, I think this is like a perfect way to show it off. I think. What they have in content for this game right now is like what should be on day one. If you know what I mean, like, because when we saw the game in day one, we saw some gameplay and stuff like that, but we didn't know anything about the game. But the things we know now, the things we have seen now in gameplay videos, is like really good. So if someone new finds this game on this Reddit and he begins to read about the game and like go to the YouTube and watch videos, he's he's in a pretty fun spot right now. He will be he or she sorry will be generating a lot of hype and like there's just plenty of things to go into right now with this game, but still the beta is first in December, which basically means we still have to wait three months, almost two. I mean like ah we still need the whole October November and still a bit of the September, but you can you can say like small three months till we get the beta, ish, even four maybe, yeah. Well, thanks for watching everyone, it was a pleasure, again, it's been a long time since I've been talking about Core Punk, but you know, I've really been talking about everything that is to talk about with, with this game, and I just can't wait to get in and play the game and make content for you all, and test stuff, b make builds, make guides, all that. So if you like Core Punk and you want to see more about this game, subscribe to my channel, and I will 100% update you on everything that happens with this game, like everything. The every little thing I'll be covering about this game. So, thanks for watching, have a great evening, and well, see you in the next Kopong video, hopefully soon. Bye.